us here. Um, and Philosophy Club is one of those interesting clubs because I we, we've had it on campus for seemingly forever, but it's been a little bit tough going sometimes, you know, not knowing who um, was advising it or having a strong student group. But every once in a while, you get one that comes around it and, and brings a, a club back from uh, the dead, if you will, there. Um, can you speak a little bit about uh, what Philosophy Club has been up to? Sure. Can everyone hear me okay? First? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Um, so, yes, I mean, this is my first year at Ocean County, so um, I, I can't speak to what they did in the past. Um, but what we've been doing this year is about every other week um, we, we get together. And I can describe what that looks like in a second. Typically, we've been meeting on Thursdays at 3.30, although that can be flexible based on student schedules. Um, uh, I can say this again at the end, but uh, if people are interested, um, I kind of try to blow up the, um, the, the OCC app with, with posts about meetings. Um, so if students are enrolled in a philosophy course, they're probably hearing about it that way. And then all the other students, we try to use, utilize the app. So I usually post um, our meetings uh, once or twice, you know, maybe like a week and a half out and like the day before or something typically. Um, and, you know, when we get together, it's uh, in some way we play it by ear based on students' interests, like what feels like, what topics are of interest to them. But what it can look like is one week, we might just have an idea and people just show up and we just talk about it. Other times there might be like a short reading that's like easily accessible to everybody. It's like, you know, three or four pages uh, about a philosophical idea. Other times there might be a short video to watch. And then we just get together and and talk through what are the implications, what are the what are the stakes in this or that topic. Um, so some of the topics, for example, we might talk about um, do we really have free will? Or is everything in our life already kind of predetermined and it's just kind of dominoes falling, uh, so to speak. Um, one week, uh, you know, I think, I think Rob was at this one about, um, you know, cultural appropriation. Uh, um, what exactly is that, uh, you know, um, and to what, to what extent is it permissible if it's permissible at all? Um, we've, uh, we've coming up soon, we're going to talk about censorship. Uh, what is that? Uh, what are the implications of of um, speech being censored? Um, just this last last meeting, we talked about some famous paradoxes from this ancient Greek philosopher named Zeno, and about uh, this. This will sound funny to people who don't aren't familiar with it, but it's um, if this slow tortoise gets a head start on Achilles, why is it that Achilles can never outrun the tortoise? And of course, that probably sounds ridiculous because a human being running is, soon, is definitely going to catch up. And yet, um, uh, people have a tough time explaining how this is the case. Anyway, um, so we talk about other uh, other things like, is there a soul? And if so, is the soul immortal? How is it related to your body or your mind? Um, but we talk about practical things too, like, you know, it's it's uh, it's Friday night and. It, not during COVID, but it's Friday night and you and some friends, you're going to get together to go to a movie. And, you know, the whole group's about to walk out the door and your best, another friend calls and is like, they just broke up with somebody and they're emotionally a mess right now. So what should you do? Should you keep your oath, your obligation, your promise to this small group of friends to see the movie? Or should you go help this one friend who's in a much more kind of, you know, serious situation at the moment? You know, so it plays into like loyalty, promise keeping, um, obligations, empathy, and how do you reconcile those those kind of different values that are you can't have 100% of all of them in that moment, right? So how do you pick and choose what to do? Um, so yeah, it it kind of varies week to you know meeting to meeting what we talk about, but that's just some a few examples that you know come to mind right now. So, so in my case, philosophical question would be uh, friends on Facebook that invite me to parties and I see 19 people attending, but we're in the middle of a global pandemic. <laughs> that would be mine is, uh, you know, hey, can someone read the room here? <laughs> but uh, for, for whatever reason, that seems and and I've, I've seen online on social media, people constantly posting about, uh, hey, you know, my friends are all here. 
trying to get me to go out to something and, and having no no regard for what's going on, you know, across the world there. And I'm sure now more than ever, we're thinking about a lot of these philosophical questions. Yeah. It sounds as though everything leads to an existential crisis, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> um, so but before we move on here, um, we know that, um, you know, if students are going to want to get involved and the club is starting to get, you know, a lot of traction this year. Um, just remind us again when the clubs meet and um, how they can get involved, um, other than maybe just scrolling through the app and seeing everything that's being posted. Yes. So the, we, the on on the app, though, there is a philosophy club. Um, page i don't know what you want to call it on the app but um so they could just follow that specific thing i just put in the chat my email address which anyone could reach out to um and then we kind of been relying on word of mouth right now um you know i'm always open to experimenting and trying new things so i'm i'm all ears for ways to spread the word even more um but yeah, we've kind of just been starting with students in philosophy classes and trying to get word of mouth, uh, the app, certainly emailing me, but we typically meet on Thursdays, every other Thursday, so at 3.30. And so our next meeting would be uh, actually similar to what Jen said, it's, it would be the 4th, March 4th at 3.30 would be our next, our next meeting. All right. Well, perfect. Well, thank you so much for um, your time today, sure, giving sure. us information on this club. And like I said, I'm very happy that it's it's uh, like I said, resurrected, if you will. And uh, you know, we look forward to seeing a lot of great things uh, moving forward with it. Cool. Thanks. Cool.